Hey, what's up guys? It's Nick2. Today I'm going to be showing you guys all the named items that are currently within the game, as well as the named weapons. Uh, named items are some of the best weapons that you can get in the entire game, especially depending upon the build that you're running, as they have special stats, which I'll get into in a minute. Uh, but before I get into it, if this video helps you out, please make sure to drop a like, as it helps me out a ton, and subscribe for videos in the future if you'd like to see more from me. And also, uh, make sure to check out my Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash Nick2 streaming pretty much every day and if anybody needs help getting some of these named items or farming or anything else please email me at nick2biz at gmail.com and i would love to help you out so what are named items if you don't already know pretty much they are just items that are named versions of their counterparts so for example fox's prayer is a named overlord knee pad where it is not an exotic it is still a normal high end that still retains the brand set attribute same thing with weapons the weapons of course they aren't brand sets but it's not an exotic weapon they are simply just named so as you can see it has a specific name other than overlord knee pads it is called fox's prayer and then as you can see this highlighted attribute it's kind of it's kind of highlighted the way that like you can see the text uh the title of the you know name is also highlighted the same way and this is a special attribute that it comes with. So for example, for Fox's Prayer, you get 15% damage to targets out of cover. And another example of this is the Contractor's Gloves, which gives you 11% damage to armor. Both of these are incredibly strong, and I'll of course go over all of them. Uh, but that I just wanted to show you guys, you know, in-game representation so you know what they look like. And then also I have a few uh, named weapons here. So Dark Winter, these come with perfect talents. So the perfect talents are pretty much the exact same as the normal talents, except that the uh, percentage of whatever it's giving you is going to be a little bit higher it kind of varies you know there's not like a set percent increase it varies from talent to talent and this of course also happens on backpacks and chest talents um so as you can see perfect killer this is just like a normal vector but it's called the dark winter and it has a perfect talent perfect killer just gives it extra crit damage than it ordinarily would instead of 40 percent, it is now 50 percent. so these are pretty good and definitely work worth looking out for and it definitely depends on the build that you're running um so yeah, in terms of how to get them, um, I'm going to leave a link to this spreadsheet down in the description. I did not make this, Ahmad made this, so big credit to him. Uh, we're pretty much just going to be looking at the high-end named gear here, and then look at the high-end named weapons as well. This is pretty much going to show you how to get them. I'm just going to quickly mention what each of them have, and then how you can get them. But I mean, you can see the drop location, and this video is going to quickly get very redundant. Um, I would just recommend going over there and looking at this. I'm probably just going to quickly look at them and then say the ones that are particularly strong um otherwise you know this video might get a little weird i don't really even know what to do at this point but we're just gonna we're just gonna do it so we're gonna scroll over a little bit so all of these are the backpacks with um just a specific talents and the chest with talents and then all the roles down here have specific um attributes so for example Petrov gloves, they have the damaged armor, and then these stats are what they will typically uh, always roll with, pretty much, as the core attribute. So I just have it zoomed in a little bit here, and I have my camera moved down so you can see. So for the Alps backpack, you get perfect tech support. That's all right, especially on an Alps backpack, and then you can get it from the light zone. And then for the Seska backpack, you get perfect clutch. Clutch isn't that great, but that's pretty decent. For the um, China backpack, you get perfect shock and awe. For the Golan, what is Golan? I don't even remember what Golan is. You get Perfectly Wicked, drops in Dark Zone. That's pretty good compared to the normal Wicked. Hanna Yu, you get Perfect Combined Arms. That gives you skill damage. For Providence, the Providence backpack is very good. You get Perfect Vigilance, which is pretty nice. Um, and instead of giving you, um, you still get 25% weapon damage, but it disables the buff for 3 seconds rather than 4 seconds. And you can only get that from the Dark Zone. The Araldi chest gives you perfect focus, which makes sense on an Araldi piece. comes from the light zone. For the uh, Badger chest, you get perfect unbreakable. comes from the dark zone. For the Fenris chest, you get perfect overwatch. That kind of doesn't really make sense, but I guess the weapon damage is pretty decent. That comes from the dark zone. For the Gila chest, you get perfect vanguard. Um, that's pretty good. I don't really know if you'd want to run one piece Gila with a tank build, but that would make sense. It comes from the light zone and the dark zone. For the Golan chest, you get perfect intimidate. Um, it's 40% instead of what, like, I think 30%. So that's pretty good from the light zone. And then the somber chest, you get perfect spark. If only spark was uh, much better, that would be pretty nice, but it comes from the dark zone. And then the pet drop chest, you get perfect braced, which isn't terrible. And this comes from Gunnerfield Research, and then I believe you just craft it. And then the Providence chest is very good as well. You get perfect glass cannon. 
which makes the damage you deal go up to 30, but you also take 60. And that comes from the light zone. Now in terms of the specific uh, rolls, so for 511 gloves, you get armor on kill as a specific roll. For Alps gloves, skill health. For the Petrov gloves, we went over before, damage to armor. For Sokolov gloves, you get status effect. For Badger holster, you get ammo capacity. Uh, that's a little unfortunate. For the RNK holster, you get shield health. For the Wyvern holster, you get melee damage. I don't even know why that's a thing. For the Murakami knee pads, you get armor per second regeneration. Pretty terrible. For the Overlord knee pads, you get damage to targets out of cover, which is very strong. For the uh, DNH mask, I guess you get headshot damage. That's a normal roll on a mask, so I'm not sure if that would be like a high percent of headshot damage or something, but maybe it is. For the Gila mask, you get pulse haste. And then for the Yal mask, you get damage to health at 21%, which is very good. Um, I wish that it showed the percentage of how much you get here, but you know, I guess it's helpful regardless. And then you just get all of these. I'll just scroll over here so you guys can see it. So this one, dark zone, field research, light zone, light zone, dark zone, yada, yada, yada. I didn't. I decided not to go over all of where to get all of them because it's pretty easily visible on screen. And then in terms of the named weapons, so the AK, you get perfectly overflowing, the AUG, perfect Allegro, the F2000, perfect Optimus, which is a good talent, FAMAS, perfect on empty, which is kind of unlucky because that's not what you want to use on a FAMAS, and FAMAS is the best they are at the moment, so that kind of sucks. The Honey Badger, you get perfectly close and personal. I wish the weapon damage you get from close and personal is very high, but you have to be within 7 meters, so I'm not a big fan of it. The M4, you get perfectly ignited. P416, you get perfectly nearsighted, which sucks. The TAR-21, you get uh, perfectly accurate, very unfortunate. The L-86, you get perfectly steady-handed. Excuse me, the M-249, you get perfectly unhinged. The M-60, you get perfect fast hands. Perfect fast hands would be good, but you don't really want to be running an M-60. The MG-5 gives you perfect frenzy. A lot of people I see liking frenzy, but it only lasts for five seconds, so I don't think that it's ever worth using in pretty much any scenario. The Negev, you get perfect uh, status, which is pretty good, but it's not that great. It's only good if you have a reliable way to make enemies bleed. And then the RPK, you get perfectly optimized. Not great. The Stoner LMG, you get perfect overwhelm. Not great either. The M44, the White Death, um, this does not have a specific talent on it. You can actually roll the talent, but it actually comes with um, base headshot modifier of, I believe, like 27% higher. Uh, I have one, and it is 137%. I can actually just show you. It is, where is it here? Da, da, da. It has 137% headshot damage, and you can see that that's, like, named there. And then I don't have a normal one, but normally I think that it caps out at 110. So much higher headshot damage there. And you can roll whatever talent you want on it. The Model 700, you get Perfect Ranger, which is very good, especially on a Model 700. Ranger is very strong, so this is probably the best sniper. That's a really good talent combo. And they get the scar with um, perfect eyeless. That sucks. SR run, SR1 with perfect reformation. I guess it's okay if you're running like a skill thing. SRS, you get perfect first blood. Not particularly great. The SVD, you get perfectly naked. That's all right. The uh, orbit, which is a magnum, you get perfect finisher. This is very, very good. I'm still waiting to get one of these. It would be great to just swap it out, kill somebody, and then swap back. And then you just have a huge amount of damage. That's very good. Um, the 9-3-R, you get perfect unwavering. Weapon handling, nobody really cares about, but I guess that's kind of cool. Um, just to have as another pistol. For the Desert Eagle, you get perfect sadist again, which is okay, but you're not really going to be using that. The Mozambique, which is actually something that I have, it's just perfect breadbasket, which is pretty nice, but I never swap to it. But you can do like one mil a hit with it, which is kind of cool. The Maxim 9, you get perfect spike. The P32X Compact, you get perfect preservation. Lightning Rod, perfect salvage. I guess it's on a pistol, whatever. Dicerus Special, you get uh, the perfect Optimus, which is kind of cool. And then for rifles, the Australian 1886 has perfect boomerang, which seems very good, although it is an 1886. But crits having a 75% chance to return the bullets to the mag, that might actually make that gun pretty good because the base damage on 1886 is very high. So that's actually really strong. Um, the M1A has Baker's Dozen. This is pretty good. Lucky Shot isn't the best talent, but this version of the M1A has very high base damage. I actually have one, and it does a lot of damage. Um, the M4 has Perfect Spike. The Scar has Everlasting, or 
perfect perpetuation, sorry. And then the SIG has perfect rifleman. I wish there was an MK-17 and the MK would have had perfect rifleman. That would have made my day. I believe that the MK-17 can also roll with a perfect perpetuation. It's either perpetuation or the other thing that is similar to perpetuation. I'm not sure why that's not listed here, but I definitely saw it while playing in the dark zone yesterday. There is a named MK-17, but the talent isn't that great. For shotguns, on the AA-12, you get perfect extra, which is a ton of extra mag size. Uh, for the double barrel, you get perfect pumped up, and there's also a second one that gives you primer rounds. And then the KSG, you have perfect distance, which increases your optimal range, and then it also has, I guess there's another one that gives you... Uh, perfect rooted and the m870 you get perfect jazz hands the sasg 12 you get perfect pummel the super 90 you get perfect pummel as well uh, i hope that my camera isn't it's blocking these names but i'll just read out the names the banshee gives you perfectly vindictive which is pretty good um i believe that this value is incorrect it's not 150 percent crit chance it's 15 or it's either 15 or 18 i can actually just check i have the item in game might as well just check and then i can message the guy yeah, so it is 18% crit chance and 18% crit damage. That's just a typo right there. No big deal. And the MP7 gives you a perfect unwavering. The MPX gives you perfect outsider or perfectly measured if you have the apartment. The P90 gives you perfect preservation. Yes, this, this is a talent that is on the MK17. It's perfect preservation. The PP19 gives you perfect, perfect strained, which is very good, although it is on a PP19, which isn't the best SMG, but it's still pretty nice. And then the Vector Dark Winter, like I mentioned, has perfect killer. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully this video helped. Um, of course, if you want to know how to get all these, I would just load up the spreadsheet or you can just look at the video and be like, oh, I really want the F2000 with perfect optimus. So then I need to, you know, go open up hunter crates or talk to Cassie. Same thing with the named gear pieces. So like the Providence backpack, you need to get that in the dark zone or you can get the Providence chest in the light zone. That's probably what I'm going to be farming today on stream. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helped. If it did, please make sure to drop a like, subscribe to videos similar to this one, and I will see you guys later. Peace.